you see, you know what a lever is, don't you? Yes, like a seesaw. Well, that's one kind of lever, and here's the sort of seesaw right here. Well, there are actually three different kinds of simple levers, and I've collected some common tools from around the house to illustrate the three different kinds. Let's start with this kind. Okay. The fulcrum, or the pivot point, is in the center, and the center section anyway. Then you want to accomplish some work, so I'll put this book as a weight over here. Okay. Then you have to apply effort over here. To lift the book up. Right, to lift the book up. So those are the three important parts of a lever. The fulcrum, the work, and the effort. Okay. What would happen, by the way, if I move the fulcrum closer to the work? Well, I'd have to do a lot, a lot more distance to get the same amount of work done. Yeah. Then in the middle, I had to, it was an equal but you, distance. But you didn't have to exert as much effort over there. Right, it was really but you light. Moved through a different, through a greater distance. What if I put it up here? Um, it's heavier, but I don't have to move it. Same much. weight. Well, it feels heavier. Feels heavier because you're not being able to exert as much force because of this short distance and that long distance. Okay, so when, when uh, engineers design tools based on the lever principle, they use those principles, keep those principles in mind. For example... The scissors. The scissors. Okay, where's the fulcrum, the pivot? Right here, yeah. in the middle. Where are you going to put the effort? Right here, yeah. the And handles. where do you accomplish the work? Here, the shop. Yeah. And why is the pivot point so close to your fingers? Well, so I just have to exert a little bit, and I get a lot out here. Right. I, if you put it closer, then you could just... Just do a little bit. Right. A lot more. In other words, you want to get a greater distance. You want to move through a greater distance right. when you cut. Compare that to this lever, which is based on the same principle. Um, I mean, you have to do a lot to make this, to yeah. do a little up yes, there. Yes, but you can pinch with greater force. Right. Right. Which is why they design a pair of pliers using that principle. Now let's go to the next one. Okay. I'll put the fulcrum at the end, like that. I'll put the book here, that's the work, and you apply the effort there. Well, I move a little bit, and that moves a lot, and it's Wait a heavier. minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You move what? You move oh, a, a lot, lot. and, this moves and a little it moves bit. a little. But, but you it's could heavier. Yes, but you could exert now, the closer I move it to the fulcrum, right. the easier it is for you to do it because of the leverage. A nutcracker? Isn't that the fulcrum is up here, right? Oh, I see. And you put the force down here, yes. and you can apply more pressure yes. right there. And if, you ha if I put my little finger right there, you I could pinch crunch it. it. <laughs> right. How about this one? Same idea? Well, yeah, a garlic press, because mm -hmm. I need to move a lot to get a little up here, right. but there's greater force. Right, because you want to squeeze out the juice right. from the garlic. Okay, there's one more left. This time, I'll put the fulcrum at that end, where you are. Okay. And I'll put the work way out here, and you have to exert the pressure by pulling up over here. Okay. I'll hold it so it doesn't move. Now well, I move a little bit, and that moves a lot, but it's heavy. Yeah, it seems heavy, and you have to exert a lot of force. Why would you want to do that? Notice the speed, or the distance through which it goes. You move that through a little distance, watch what happens to the book. It moves a, a quite a, a bit. Yes. Sugar tongs? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Here is the, le the pivot point, yeah. the where you apply the pressure yes. or the work, mm -hmm. and here's where the, the thing yes. is going to be done. Yes. Now, can't you think of another example that's a little more common, in which there's a pivot point at the end, the fulcrum. You exert a little force here through a small distance in order to exert, make that go much faster up here, which is what happens, right? Right. Baseball bat? <laughs> yeah, take a look at a baseball bat as a simple lever. Where does it pivot? Right here, yeah. at the end. Where do you apply the force, the effort? Right here. There. And where are you trying to make that go? Fast. Fast. So whenever, so whenever you use a baseball bat, you're using that simple lever. And other, other levers, uh, other um, athletic equipment works on the same idea. Tennis racket, hockey stick, oh, golf see. club, all based on a simple lever.